Lloyd Magathy is not a person. Lloyd and Magathy are the names of two freshwater aquifers which underlie Long Island. The Lloyd Aquifer and the Magathy Aquifer, along with the Upper Glacial Aquifer, supply drinking water to nearly three million Long Islanders. Standing mid-island near Hopog, looking toward the east end, we can see that the Lloyd Aquifer in yellow is the deepest aquifer, just above bedrock. The Magathy Aquifer is quite large. Wells are drilled into the aquifers, which unfortunately are becoming contaminated. One of the contaminants is medication. Organizations testing for medications in our waters include the United States Geological Service, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Environmental Conservation, the Suffolk County Department of Health, and the Suffolk County Water Authority. The Suffolk County Water Authority has approximately 600 wells, supplies water to 1.2 million people, and is one of the best suppliers of municipal water in the United States. In 2012, they closed a municipal well because it was contaminated with five medications. The five medications are carbamazepine, used to treat bipolar disease, gemfibrozil, used to treat cholesterol, meprobamate, a psychotropic drug used to treat anxiety, naproxen for inflammation and pain, and ibuprofen for inflammation and pain. Suffolk County Water Authority also found Dilantin, an anti-seizure medication for epilepsy. Suffolk County Water Authority tests their 600 municipal wells regularly, but there are 77,000 private wells in Suffolk County which are not tested regularly. We should all take our medication, even pets. Medication improves our health. However, some people have suggested that we are buying too many pills and irresponsibly storing our pills in our medicine cabinets. I am not suggesting that you get rid of all medications so that your medicine cabinet looks like this, empty. But if your medicine cabinet looks like this, or you keep your medications on your kitchen counter or in your purse, then get rid of those medications that have expired or are just no longer wanted. Lloyd Magathy Water Trust has a dual mission. Number one, keep medications out of our water, and number two, keep medications out of the hands of those individuals, particularly teens, who might seek to divert medications for non-medical purposes. Our mission is both environmental and societal. Each year, 71,000 children are seen in emergency rooms because they accidentally swallowed medication. Number one, we need to keep medications locked up tight and out of sight. And number two, keep medication out of our groundwater by using responsible disposal methods. For many years, we have had two methods of medication disposal, trash and toilet. However, today, Neither trash nor toilet is an acceptable method of medication disposal. Flushing unwanted medications down the toilet is environmentally irresponsible. But what's wrong with trash? In 2010, just four years ago, our thinking and attitudes about medication disposal in relation to our drinking water began to change. In 2010, DEA began National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, once in the spring and once in the fall. Take note that today is September the 27th, 2014, a drug take back day. How effective have these events been? Here is a picture of a DEA event held in rural Watauga County, North Carolina, population 50,000. In comparison, Suffolk County, New York has a population 30 times larger than Watauga. Do you think Suffolk County would have 30 times more unwanted medications? 742,000 pounds in four hours were collected at DEA events on April 27, 2013. That's enough to fill 19 tractor trailers. Since 2010, DEA events have collected more than 3 million pounds of medications. 
The Suffolk County Police Department administers Operation Medicine Cabinet. Receptacles are located in seven precincts up island. The group for the East End placed eight collection receptacles in East End Police Departments. The Lloyd McAthee Water Trust has placed three receptacles. A variety of receptacles exist. Blue, black, white, white with a big star, green, psychedelic, fancy white trimmed in black. Even the Naperville Fire Department has a through-the-wall depository. The DEA proposes that all deposited medication never be viewed, touched, cataloged, sorted, or x-rayed. So what you see here is what the DEA does not want. You see a deputy viewing the medication and using her hands to transfer medication into a cardboard box. I designed a receptacle which meets DEA's proposed specifications. The red box which you see here is the box which I installed in the East Hampton Senior Center. The yellow sign clearly identifies the box as a prescription drug trash can. Your take home message is on the screen. Do not flush medications down the toilet. People drink water. Let's keep medications out of our water. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.